Good morning, Poku. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm great, man. I'm great, man. You know, good good views. It's nice and sunny. You know, it helps with my, my mood. No, it's nice, man. No, you're right. It does help with the mood. Listen, we're here because um, you're a bit of a TikTok star. Um, you're involved in a few initiatives. I know that it's either coming or gone. There's a conversation with Mo Gilligan coming up, right? Um, yeah. What I understand is that you're the top G when it comes to talking about P. Would that be yeah. right? Yeah, you can say so. Yeah, man. Teaching UK about personal finance, essentially. Love that. Love that. So what qualifies you, Poku, to talk about money? How did you get into this lane? Um, for those who don't follow you on TikTok, tell them exactly where they should be right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, for me, it all started from young. I was the type of guy in school to be sending you drinks, cookies, um, Kit Kats. That was me. So that's where it all started in terms of being able to make money. Now, as I grew, went through school, um, I, I realised, wait a minute, you know, you know, I'm, I'm nearing the age of 18. I don't know anything about, well, I do I do know about, you know, mortgages and taxes and whatnot, but I understood that not the rest of the world or my, my cohort didn't know anything about that. So I realised, wait a minute, I've, I've gone through school, we're about to enter, you know, that, the young adult life and, you know, we're not able to, you know, understand how credit cards are used, how to get a mortgage, how to invest. Yet, you know, we're forced into learning all these other subjects. So then that made me more curious to go research and do this thing. And I have one of my characteristics is being self-seeking. So going on my own way to find out information. So thanks to YouTube, thanks to Google, I'm then able to learn from great people in the world, you know, Martin Lewis, Emmanuel Suko, just great people across the internet speaking and talking about personal finance where you can then learn. And once I've learned this information, so, you know, digesting books, knowledge, podcasts, I mean, not only that, going to the University of Nottingham, studying finance, accounting and management, I thought, you know what, let me condense the, this, all this jargon, all this hard um, information that people don't go out their way to find out. And what I realised is that it is predominantly, what I found is that it was predominantly long form content that I was you know, indulging and it was by predominantly white male, older, in suits and ties. So I thought, you know what, let me break this down so then people of my skin colour, people that look like ourselves can understand this in a simple way within you know one minute. So breaking down complicated topics into um, just simple, simple ways of understanding. And therefore, that's how I jumped on TikTok. So I started creating videos and basically breaking down what I've learned throughout the course of my life through experiences, reading books and knowledge. So basically learning from the greats, taking it, putting it in my own way and making sure that people like myself can understand. In the beginning, when you had one follower uh, yeah. on TikTok, you know, what, 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 what made you stand out, you reckon, that, that enabled you to grow? Enables me to grow. Um, I'll say, um, number one, um, again, simply, actually, you know what? You know what? What I would say that maybe stand out, um, yeah, like I said, I, I, won't lie, I believe my skin colour did, did help me stand out. The reason I say that is because at the time, imagine, you know, a 19-year-old popping up on your screen, a young 19-year-old that's, you know, you can tell that he's cultured, is now telling you what to do with your money. That makes people want to stop and understand, okay, then, you know, if he's telling me to be checking this, then I need to be looking. If um, someone that's grown, successful, it seems like they made it in life, is telling you, you're going to just brush it and think, oh, you know, what does he know about my situation? You know, he's he's completely in a different world to me. But when when you see a young, vibrant man just speaking in your language and, and your accent and explaining things that you never knew were possible, it's like, wow, this is inspiring. Let me learn from this guy. So it's it's got it had the shock factor. Not only that, the content was great, and then um yeah, essentially the way I just communicated it with the world, it definitely helped to bring and get people to my page. Your parents must be proud of you, brother. There's a lot that you know young black men could be doing, um, but you're not doing that. You're doing something very positive. Talk about you know the impact of your parents and how they've influenced the lane that you've chosen. Yeah, no, um, I think well with my parents, essentially um they made sure that. You know, I was always on track when it came to school. They made sure that I was always just getting things done. They made sure to discipline me when it came right. And also my um, my grandparent as well, my, my grandfather, he was also entrepreneurial. So I believe I must have got a few, a few of my tricks and tips from him. So it definitely translated through my um, childhood and growing up, you know, very strict, well, strict, um, disciplined. And um, yeah, it helped. Definitely stay in track in school for sure.
So, what do your friends think about what you're doing in terms of like you know how you're influencing and impacting life? Um, they they they, they obviously they, they they find it great, but it's also a thing of um again to get to where I was, it all started from a small scale. So I went from influencing my friends like my, in my immediate circle to then you know growing it slowly by by bit by bit. So it's more of a thing where it's like I was already doing what I was doing on TikTok. But just yeah. in a different form. It's just like, oh wow, he's finally, you know, people are now finally appreciating what he's doing. Because I I've been trying to help my friends make money. I've been trying to help them save and budget and whatnot from long time anyway. So I've been trying to spread that information around for a while. It's just that um it's just I think for them it's more of like they they see it's like, oh no, great, he's finally made it. It's good. That's good. what's important where money's concerned right now, like literally in June. 2023 there's definitely interest rates um interest rates affect you know a lot of people's moods even um research from skystream they identified you know four of the most complicated things in life and how interest rates are set fell in at number five so with interest rates you know that affects people's mortgages those on variable rates and whatnot so this can affect your i won't say your mood but it affects just the way you're thinking it, it can make you more stressed and whatnot but in june as of right now um, definitely it's cost of living crisis it's just about how are you battling it you know how are you going to um, battle the cost of living crisis will you fall victim to it or will you try you know get, get your way out of it so it's yeah that's what I'll say about June well, well you're involved in a, a campaign with uh, Sky right at the moment talk about yeah. that for a second mm. yeah 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 no no I've been working on, with Skystream on a new content series called Life Simplified so this is where mm -hmm. you share where I share money tips and hence to saving and spending to make life feel a little bit more simpler. So yeah, right now it's, it's live on Sky's UK YouTube channel. So yeah, you can check it out at Sky Official. So, yeah. Do you get people, because you're so young, like dealing with you in a way where they're like, what do you know about money, brother? <laughs> do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, like what? Well, yeah, you enough life to know what's really going on. Yeah, no, um, I mean, you know what though? I would, not, not as of recently, but maybe like mm. early days, yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, definitely no, no, not even maybe, definitely, definitely. But again, as I've um stay consistent posting um thought provoking content that can help change the way you think um about how you tackle your finances, it's definitely it's best definitely showing that age is just a number and that um mm. and, then, and that yeah, you know, nowadays, yeah, and, and with the people I'm working with as well, is that the more to the C V so so yeah. Where does Popu reach in the future? Where is he reaching in the future? Mainly, my aim is just being the go-to person when it comes to finance. So when you think of um, wanting to learn finance, whether that be in any um, new quirky way, you, you think of Pokey Banks, you know. Um, that could be in a, in a form of a school, an academy, an online academy, or it could also be a part of um, maybe something where I start in the future where you know, some sort of like hedge fund or a place where you can go to to sort your finances for sure. But again, um, the next step is TV, you know. You know, it, it just relates well with, with Sky, what I'm doing with Sky. But yeah, TV, I say, is the next step because I want to just impact people on a large, larger scale, you know. So so would you, would you see yourself as like the Black Martin Lewis? I don't want to, you know. But yeah, I'm, yeah as... I'm, I'm, I'm on the way. I'm on the way, definitely. I'm on the way. Um, But again, I wouldn't say Black Martin Lewis. I just see myself as Pokey Banks. And um, I'm doing it my way. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, the only reason I, I do that in terms of comparison is so that people can recognise where possibly you could be yeah. heading for in terms of what you're trying to achieve in the lane that you're in, right? Let's move away from finance then. What are you interested in other than money? What music <laughs> are you listening to right now? Top three yeah. artists. Yeah, well, I've always been in love with US rap. Um, I, I like UK rap as well, um, UK drill. But what I've recently, you know, come across, well, not come across, but really delved into is Afrobeats. I never used to like Afrobeats. I never used to, but as of the past two years, yeah, I've, I've reconnected with my culture and um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But yeah, I'd say, um, yeah, so US rap, UK drill, Afrobeats. Um, top three artists, I'd say, I, I still love my US rap, so it would, it would go with um, Lil Baby, Lil Durk, um, Young Boy. So yeah, that's what I'd say, yeah. yeah. Those are the guys there. Yeah. What about um, sport? You into sport? Yeah, yeah, football, football, football. Yeah. What, football. what, what, what team you support, brother? And be careful because it might end here. Okay, actually, do you want to guess? Do you want to guess? 
Uh, he, he just looked like he smelled like a gunner. Uh, nah, nah, I'm not. Oh, good, because it's a bad smell. What, what, what team are you support? Chelsea. Yeah, this season's not been great, but yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea. I don't even know what to say, cuz, you know? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Yeah. Um, we've all got across the bear, I guess. You've been down there, do you get down there? Stamford Bridge. Well, see, yeah, I've been to Stamford Bridge quite a few times. Yeah, I've been quite a few times this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watch games live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, good luck, man. Um, it's, it's interesting for me to obviously get a perspective on who you are away from money. If, if you had a 24 hours and you didn't have anybody watching you, what, what would you be up to, mate? What would you be doing? Um, so in my spare time, I would say in my spare time, I'm either learning so that that may be watching some educational videos. I could be listening to music. I could be, you know, out with a friends. I could be, you know, I could be on a date. I could be. Yeah. Is that you letting everybody know that you're single? Is that quite? <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess so. I guess so. But um, yeah, my, my 24 hours, either I could be learning or even just building. So I could be um, planning for the future, creating content, um, starting a business or well, not starting a business, but, you know, refining and working on myself as I work for myself. Everything in my life is just around what I do. So um, there's that. Um, yeah, just creating, man, just being, just being, um, just being a creative um, you know, thinking of ways of essentially teaching the UK about finance, but in just more creative ways. But um, yeah, not only that, yeah, listen to music, going out to eat, you know, drink. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, was it like, are you a festival man? Was the last festival you done? <sighs> last festival was um wireless, but I don't think I'll go again. No. No? Why not? Well, good. Yeah, I think, yeah. The, I think the lineup wasn't that good, and there's two. It's too much, I think. I think it's too much. It's too much in the sense of um I feel like a lot of eyes on me. Uh what else was? Oh for real. Okay. Is that with people recognizing you from TikTok, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, right, um, okay. Yeah, the, the, the fan love is real. The fan love is real. No, 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 I love that. I love that. Because I, I wasn't even gonna delve into that. But that that that's a, a dynamic that people take for granted in terms of older mm. people, right? They they kind of see you with your 400,000 people following you on TikTok and they think, oh, you're used to it, isn't it? But how does that impact on you? Because you just said you're not going to go to one of the biggest festivals in yeah, the um, UK again. And, and and I went for the first time last year. What day did you go, by the way? Was it a Sunday? It was a what, well, it doesn't matter what day. Who was performing? Who, uh, that will tell me who, what day it was. Um, who was the headline? I think the headline was Nikki and Skil- Skilly Ben came out. All right, okay, cool. Yeah, no, there you go. So... You find that you didn't go, you didn't take the VIP experience then. You went there as a normal, normal yeah. Nah, um, you know what's crazy? Yeah, the, I, I saw one of my my influencer friends and he was in the VIP, but um, I didn't think too much ahead of it. Um, yeah, maybe I should have tried to try a pattern the VIP experience, but yeah, I went as a normal attendee, yeah, normal. But right, again, right. I'm, just, I'm, I'm very, I'm very humble. Um, I don't, mm. I don't, no, I can see that. I can see that. I love that as well. You know what I mean, stay that way because uh, that's what separates you from a lot of people that start to believe their own hype. Um, I'm going to wrap this up, but if you could wave a magic wand and say the next six months are going to go like this, how would they go? Next I know it ends with you in Ghana, you know, <laughs> doing, doing, doing up soft life, but yeah, how does, how does the next six months go? Um, the next six months, building more strategic partnerships with brands, working with people that I, you know, I love, especially... Call the brands out that you want to speak, you want to work with, bro. Now you've got to speak things into existence. I don't believe in holding yeah, yeah man. Man. Who do you want to work? um actually I, yeah obviously i've been working with sky shout out to sky um it definitely helps especially what i watch on tv and the sky stream products but um who, are, who else would like to work with yeah just just more banks you know because obviously my name is pokey banks so it's just nice to work with more banks um so yeah but, but to be fair i've worked with a few already you know previously i've worked with you know barclays lloyd so it'd just be great to continue these partnerships and whatnot so yeah you sure you don't want to tell you, say anything else you sure Six months, you know, it's a long time. A lot yeah, of stuff can get done. Yeah, but more, but more, more. What I actually want to achieve in the next six months is more inner. It's more inner. So, like, you know, developing, developing a stronger relationship with God, um, building more of my discipline. Um, I feel like you know, working on the inner self can then help to affect everything around you. You know, so, so yeah. I love that. I love that. It's a good way to wrap up as well. Listen, Poku Banks. Yeah. Appreciate your time, my brother. Um, yeah. And good luck, more power to you moving forward, right? 
Um, keep doing what you're doing. Whatever you're, whatever you're doing is working, bro. So keep doing what you're doing. And uh, I hope you influence a lot of people out there to become more financially savvy. My brother, appreciate your time. Um, have a blessed day. Anything else you want to share with us before we part ways? Um, yeah, guys, just make sure, just promise me you'll stay consistent. Promise me you'll stay consistent, focus on your goals and you'll make it for sure.